All right, it is day three. Oh, I'm scanning in. Let's scan out a little. There you go. There you go. Day three, it is Friday. About to head to the LA Fit Expo. Um, I'm pumped. About to get on a plane with all our bodybuilding.com gear. So today is just really a travel and rest um, and relax day. The, the minute we get into LA, the minute we get into our hotel, we have our tans and things of that nature uh, for our show on Saturday. So it's gonna be nice to just really get some rest, um, catch up on nutrition, all that stuff, and get show ready. And then, you know, Saturday is gonna be jam packed with meet and greets, the show, announcing the winner, uh, epic, epic cheat meals. So stay tuned today, day three. Leaving for LA. We're having an eventful ride so far, and we're headed to the Boise Airport. Everybody's getting ready to go right now, and we are rolling. All right, we are on the flight, about to leave Boise. We're sitting next to Brandon, he's doing his thing. Hey, Brian. So what's up? We're in here. The girls don't cry after the face is made. But there's a hope that's waiting for you in the dark You should know you're beautiful Just made it to LAX We're up, we're here Finally excited to be here Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Emily always hopping in the background So I am in LA I just got here, well I'm already tanned up You can kind of see darker Alright, dinner for tonight We've Got steak, a little bit of sweet potato fries Can't really do a lot of those White rice, keeping it simple. Time to carve up, get those fats in me. Hell yeah. It is show day, obviously, as you can see by the super chocolate face. Just got tanned, about to head out with, body, with the bodybuilder.com team to hang out at the booth for about two hours, and then I get on stage, um, show my stuff, and then we'll see if I make that number one spot. This has just been a, a huge, huge, huge blessing. Um, they picked me for top 20 out of around 4,000 entries and then top five. So the percentage is just kind of almost borderline impossible. But the fact that we made it here, um, I can't put it into words. And I keep saying that because I actually can. I've seen so many people that I've looked up to in the fitness industry, being able to network them, with them, meet them, um, and then be in that environment all day to day and actually be one of them is huge. And so yeah, you'll see a lot of stuff at the booth. You'll catch a little bit of behind the scenes from the show and we're just gonna go from there. So we are headed to the LA Fit Expo right now. Jordan's so kind to grab my bag, thank God. And we just arrived at the Fit Expo. What up? Rolling pretty deep to the Fit Expo. And we're here. How you feeling, Marie? Ready as a little bit. Ready. Opportunity. 
Um, about to head out, get a get some food with the team, and head out of, head out of this expo. It was great meeting lights. everybody. We need these lights everywhere we go. It was great meeting people. It's crazy when people are like, oh, Ricky, I follow you on Instagram. Can I get a picture? I'm like, what? That's crazy. Okay, I really feel like a, it's like it's weird, like a small fish in a big pond. I say that because, you know, ever since I lived in Virginia, I met or I've, I've always followed like a lot of fitness people. I've always seen their stories. I've, I've watched them vlog. I've watched them on Instagram, on Snapchat. And when I was in Virginia, like these people seemed so, so far away. I was like, man, am I ever gonna meet these people? Um, am I ever going to kind of do the things that they're doing? Um, because they seem so passionate. They seem like they're so, having such a good time, having so much fun. And tonight I was, um, I was downstairs when I checked in and I see Alicia Coates, and Alicia Coates is a live fit athlete that I followed for a while, and she's like right next to me, and you know, she was talking with some of the live fit teams, so I didn't interrupt, but I'm sitting there, and I'm like, wow, I followed this person for years, and they're standing right there about to do the same fit expo, I'm about to meet them, like this is insane. <clears throat> and then, um, you know, after I got my tan, uh, I was walking the hallway, see like, the live fit team, uh, I have a friend of mine named Katie, she is on the live fit uh, team, and so I met, I saw, you know, said what's up to her, so I'm talking, and then I end up meeting, you know, Randall, uh, the owner, and, and it was just such a kind of weird, phenomenal experience where I'm looking at these people saying, wow, you don't know the impact that you guys have had on me. For such a long time, I watched you all individually, I watched you all as a team, and I said, wow, I really want to go after that. That's, that's something that I want to go after. And being able to meet people like that, that, that have inspired me from afar, was just absolutely insane and surreal. And that's the impact that I hope that I have on other people is that just by doing what I love to do, I hope that it gives them hope to do what they love to do. And um, it pushes them to work extremely hard. Uh, and that, you know, one day whenever they meet me, that they're like, wow. And they tell me that story because I, that's why I'm vlogging this because I want them to see it someday and say, wow, I had an impact on that person. Like, you know, people don't know the struggles that I had. They don't know how crazy things were, but they had an impact. Those are the, the little things that gave me of that. So I just thank God that he put me in this position because I'm just all inspired all the time. So now I'm going to get to like one rice cake. A little bit of peanut butter, don't tell anybody. Oh, 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 oh,